Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A man is trapped in a 20-foot hole with a hungry crocodile for a week. Today we will recap the 2018 movie, The Pool. This story begins on a movie set that will shoot a scene in a 6-meter deep pool. Day is part of the art team and needs to keep everything running and in place. His girlfriend, named Koi, brought her pet dog, Lucky, to take part in the shooting of a scene that night. Everything went very well, but the next day, the nightmare would begin. We are on the first day of the nightmare. Day needs to go back to the pool area to empty it and take the opportunity to relax a little. When playing a ball for Lucky to catch, the puppy goes to a more secluded place and we can see a newspaper lying on the ground, saying that a recent flood has generated a great calamity and a huge crocodile is on the loose. But nothing happens to Lucky for now. Mayum, the protagonist's friend, just appears and turns on the pool's suction pump to empty it. He takes Lucky back and puts him on a leash attached to the edge of the pool, while Day relaxes on a float. Mayum was supposed to stay there to help his friend and finish the job, but as he was leaving on a trip, he asked Day to finish the job alone. Day continues relaxing in the pool, after his friend's departure, the problem is that he ends up falling asleep and when he wakes up, the water level is already very low. He despairs and tries to swim to the edge. But it was too late, he can't get up and he still tries to cling to one of the pool's lights with all his strength, and pulls out a nail in the attempt. In excruciating pain, he now tries to use the buoy for support and see if he can reach the edge, but it still isn't enough. And since he knows that his towel and cell phone are right up there, with the robe's drawstring he ties his glasses and tries to pull out the cell phone, which is not efficient at all. In addition to not seeing, the poor stability of the buoy does not help in the task. Then his girlfriend started calling his cell phone and through the vibration, the device slowly moves towards the edge. Just a few more inches it would fall into the pool. But Lucky was overjoyed at the sound of the ringing and tried to jump into the pool. His collar left him trapped, if he slipped any further, he would be out of breath and would die. Day has to choose between the cell phone and the dog, and decides to save Lucky's life. The cell phone keeps ringing and ends up falling. But the charger saved at the last second. The man quickly comes back and tries to reach for his smartphone by jumping, which is extreme stupidity because he could use the float to get it more safely, instead he slammed his hand hard and the cell phone fell into the water. With each passing second, the edge grew further away. Day dives into the drain where the water is coming in, and covers it with a piece of cloth. And at the same time a pizza delivery man showed up, and called the pizzeria to warn that there was no one there. However underwater, Day could see that there was someone to call for help, the only problem is that his pants chain got tangled in the drain. In an attempt to remove the chain, the delivery man only spotted the dog there, left the pizza and left. When he freed himself from the chain, Day went to the surface, almost out of breath to call for help, but the noise of the delivery man's motorcycle drowned out his screams. Not knowing what to do, he lay down on the float and went back to sleep. A short time later Koi arrived there and without making any noise walked away to jump into the pool. Lucky started barking and Day woke up suddenly screaming for her not to jump. Koi slips in fright and hits her head violently on the floor. In addition to his girlfriend being severely injured and unconscious, the weather is very bad and rain has also started to fall. He removes the piece of cloth from the drain again to let the water level drop. Only one more member of this macabre journey has yet to arrive. It was already dark, and a bizarre crocodile appears near the pool and goes towards Lucky who is totally desperate. Day tries to ask the dog to be quiet and stop attracting the crocodile's attention, but all is in vain. The crocodile advances over the iron bars next to Lucky and ends up slipping, falling straight into the water. Day gets desperate and looks for the crocodile, which seems to have stayed at the bottom of the pool and so far has not been interested in hunting them. The night progressed and we arrived at the second day of the nightmare. The pool is completely empty. Koi is still unconscious and the crocodile still remains motionless in the sun. Day found a pregnancy test with his girlfriend. That was the exciting news she was about to tell. Only the girl's wound is very deep and that was worrying. Inside the alligator's mouth is a roll of duct tape, which Mayim had thrown into the water as a joke. Now Day needs to get it to stop Koi's bleeding. Very carefully, he tries to get his hand inside the animal's mouth. But Lucky starts to bark, and the, the crocodile almost rips the man's hand off. He stops part of Koi's wound and gives her some water. Day tries to get to the iron cover of the drain to see if it is possible to remove it, but it is screwed. He finds a chain hanging around his girlfriend's neck, which is a kind of multi-purpose tool, with which it would be possible to remove the screws. The problem is that the crocodile climbed up the drain. Day unrolls part of the duct tape and throws it on the animal's head several times until he expels it from above. He quickly removes the screws from the iron cover and carefully tries to look inside the tubing. There are two paths, but it is not yet possible to know where they are going. Upon returning for yet another attempt to wake up Koi, the crocodile moves and enters the pipe. 
Instead of closing it inside, Day just watches, screaming for help, trying once more to climb the ledge. The man now has the idea of going down the pipe with the crocodile inside to see if there is a way out. Well, in one of the paths he found an iron cover that gave access to a ladder. It finally appeared to be an exit, except that the grate was padlocked. The problem is that the crocodile climbed up the drain. With a reflection in the mirror near the pool, Day realized that Koi was alone and the monster was approaching her. He quickly backs up through the plumbing as the monstrous creature crawls under the girl's towel. Day comes running and throws the animal away holding by the tail. Considering that such a female can reach more than 200 kilograms this would be impossible. Finally, the crocodile just walks away from the boy. Koi finally woke up. They then talk a little about her pregnancy until nightfall. Lucky appeared with a slice of pizza in his mouth. He found it in the box the delivery man left next to him and throws the box with some pieces today. At least now the two of them have some food to keep them alive. We have now reached the third day. Day is terrible and very weak, as he has diabetes and needs to take his insulin. He remembers that Mayim had left the syringe on the metal table. Already very weak, he just uses the tape to write a distress call on the floor and passes out for a few hours. Koi wakes him up and the two realize that the crocodile was a female and laid several eggs. This could be even worse, she would be even more aggressive to defend them. A strong storm ends the third day, at least it was a source of water for them not to die of dehydration. Day 4 begins with Day staring at the luscious crocodile eggs. Then he pretends he passed out and closes his eyes. The crocodile starts to approach to snatch it, but the rag was on top of the plumbing hole. The creature slips inside and Day rushes to close it with the iron lid, while Koi pushes the sofa over it. As the trap worked, they have eggs for dinner. After the meal, one more attempt, now Koi climbed onto Day's shoulders and together they try to balance to reach the edge. But without success again, we move on to the fifth day. The couple decided to open the drain opening so the two could enter the pipe. Koi went first, but Day decided to go back to get his girlfriend's music box and almost loses his head in the attempt. Down in the pipeline, the day progresses and Day only gets worse, the lack of insulin is leaving him very weak and on the edge of his body. Day comes up with the idea of climbing up the ladder and through the grate, using a wire to lift the table support and dropping the syringe. He finally makes the syringe roll onto the cloth, but he pulled too hard and the syringe fell on the floor, shattering it all. We proceed to the sixth day. Day can't take it anymore. While dreaming about his unborn child, he happened to find his cigarette bag, which coincidentally, has two insulin syringes to control his diabetes. It didn't magically end up there, Mayim accidentally dropped it when picking up her friend's backpack there on the first day. Now with Day a little better, they hear in the sky what sounded like a paramotor flying over the pool. Day runs over there, and unfortunately, it was just a toy. A storm seems to be approaching, and a strong wind came up, knocking part of the barbed wire from the fence into the pool. Day saw a possibility of escape, but it would be extremely painful. He starts to climb and the sharp points tear his hand, only the wire escapes from the support and Day rips the entire palm of his hand and falls to the ground. The pain is terrible and unbearable. And to make matters worse, he seriously fractured his leg and had to put on an improvised splint. If it didn't seem like being in those agonizing conditions enough, the crocodile decided to show up and bite his leg. The man manages to get rid of that attack by throwing kicks. He continues to try to fend off the crocodile, only this time with a plastic bucket. At dusk, as predicted, the rain came again. Koi, who sealed off the only passage with a barrel in the stairwell sector, is now stuck with the water level rising higher and higher. Day continues to dodge the crocodile to get into the pipe so he can now check the other way out of the pipes. He is crawling towards the opposite direction of the stairs and there seemed to be an exit there, it was more like a big metal drain. As he went out through it, he went into complete despair, as he was in another huge pool. We have finally reached the seventh and final day. The toy that was flying the day before fell into the pool. And two old men came to take him back. You can see that there was always a ladder there, and the old people use it to go down. They comment on the mess of the place and when they are going back up, Day who was sleeping in the pipe hears the conversation and tries to run upstairs to ask for help. With the heavy rain that appeared again, the old people leave quickly, but they left the ladder hanging. Day just didn't count on the crocodile that was under the couch coming up once more and getting right in his way. And now the final battle has come, between the river beast and the unluckiest man in the world. He ties the barbed wire in his hands and in the first lunge of the crocodile he already slips and has his leg bitten. He starts punching the crocodile in the head, but takes a counterpunch and becomes vulnerable again. Day sees in the mirror that Koi is almost drowning in the hole. The rain is very heavy and the level continues to rise. The protagonist breaks a piece of the sofa and drives the stake into the animal's eye, which moves away momentarily. 
The problem is that the rain caused the pipes where the ladder was tied to fall out of place, pulling it out of the pool. Day couldn't take it anymore, the crocodile approaches and injure him badly with a bite. And just as the monster was about to finish its last attack by ripping its head off, Koi had to use a whistle to breathe and not drown, which also gave Day a warning. He put a stake in the alligator's mouth and escaped. The problem with all of this was that the whistle was for dogs, and Lucky thought they were calling him. The dog jumped into the pool and died hanging on a leash. Day was so angry at losing Lucky that he grabbed the iron bar that was lying next to him and jumped on top of the crocodile, slamming the bar into the monster's throat. The creature was finally dead, but there was no time to waste. Koi is dying. The man needs to use Lucky for support and climb up by grabbing him. It's pretty sad, but there was no choice. With difficulty, he makes it to the top. Only the grid where the Koi is trapped has a padlock. Then he uses the iron bar again to leverage and pop the lock. Day ends up hanging in the pool. He makes even more force and almost falls 6 meters high. Luckily, he grabs the edge and manages to climb up, runs to Koi, and rescues her. After a few heart massages, the girl is able to breathe again. And finally, the two are free from that nightmare. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.